hey what's up guys welcome to the channel once again in this video we'll be looking at how to use google derivatives or google docs or google hacking to easily find information on the internet or the free webs all right so beyond the basic search techniques we all know google offers specific terms known as what advanced operators to help us perform more advanced queries or searching when these operators are used properly, they can help us get exactly the information we are looking for without spending too much time pouring through pages after pages of search results. When advanced operators are not provided in the query, Google will locate these search terms in any areas of the web, including the title, the text, the uniform resource locator, the URL, etc. So it's going to make it so hard for us to actually narrow down on exactly what we're looking for. All right, so some of the examples of the Google Advanced Operators or the Google Docs or the Google Hacks we're going to be looking at today is in title, site, in URL, file type, and index of. Let's get into it. All right, so we have our favorite Google search page. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna be looking at, uh, we're gonna be looking at in title. Then we wanna search for a uh, title, fishing. And then we type in fishing and see what happened. We have what, 48 million results, right? So this 48 million results is gonna be so hard for us to actually kind of, uh, you know, go through and see the uh, the best information that we're looking for all right but google advanced operators or the google docs help us to narrow down this search to a manageable you know results that we can actually look through and see exactly what we are looking for all right let's go let's let's look at how we're going to do this so instead of just typing in fishing we're going to type in say um entitled right we're going to type in entitled and then we say fishing, right? So in title fishing, and see what happened. Now we have uh, 832,000 result. So compare that to 48 million, that is what way, way more lesser than the 48 million that we saw, right? So now we can go through this, but if, again, we can also further narrow it down to something like, you know, adding another Google derivative or Google docking or Google, advanced uh, operators to kind of narrow, narrow the search down because currently we have what 80 uh, 832,000 all right let's try to add one more google advanced operators say file type and then we want this search result or we want this document in a pdf file so we're going to say file type pdf and then we're going to enter so now see what happened from 832,000, we're down to what, 10,000, right? So this is how uh, the Google advanced operators have actually help us to, what, to do pinpoint searching. So when you go down here, you see that most of the efficient document you've seen is actually PDF, PDF, right? So this is how you narrow it down. So now with 10,000, you can actually, you know, go through this, but if you feel like this is a bit too much, you can add in, you know, another google derivative to bring it down all right so now let's look at uh the next google derivative we're going to look at in uh site so say we were looking at or uh, we're searching for um one of our the popular names say we're looking for um john smith right and then i'm going to type in john smith here all right see what happened we have what about 1 billion results that was returned to us, right? So now we have about 1 billion results returned. How are we gonna go through this 1 billion to make a meaningful impact on our search, right? So that's a lot of work on us. All right, so we can, we can minimize this by saying, hmm, you know, we know this John Smith that we're looking at is, uh, is a former student of uh, some school that you you know he went to say for instance he went to UMUG, uh, umgc and then uh you know he went to that school you can actually say site umgc dot edu all right so now this is going to narrow the search down from 1 billion to something manageable 
because this is not going to search the whole entire web uh, 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 internet or the free web for anybody known as what John Smith. Actually, going to look into the University of uh, uh, University of Maryland Global Campus directory to see if there there are some John Smith in there. All right, so let's see the result. Now we're going to have we we, we see that we have what eleven thousand five hundred results, which is more manageable than the one billion results that was returned to us, right? All right, so these are some of the benefits of using the Google Advanced Operators. All right. All right. So going back to our initial search, we actually search for what in title, fishing, and a file type uh, of what PDF, and then we actually got what eight hundred. Uh, we got ten thousand eight hundred results. All right. So let's try to add one layer of Google Advanced Operators to see what the results will be. So we're looking for uh, an article about fishing, and then we want it to be in PDF. And then we're looking at it in what in say harvard.edu we want an, an article that was written by somebody in harvard on the title fishing and we want it to be in what pdf so let's see if it's going to narrow down the search results here for us all right so you see now we have about six results so how cool is this? So now we see we only have what six articles to read and see if we can find something about our article of interest, which is the fishing. So now let's uh, let's do another search. Say we're looking for an article on what social sciences. All uh, right, we're gonna look for an article on social sciences. Now we're having what about nine hundred and thirty billion results returned. All right, that's going to be a lot of a lot of search for us to actually find some useful uh, uh, article on social sciences, right? So let's try to see if we can modify this search result. And how do we do that? We're going to add, say, a site derivatives, right? We add a site, and then we're going to uh, whatever site you want to search in, and you know, if you want to search in uh, Harvard.edu, uh, you're looking for an article on social sciences Harvard, right? Or written by somebody in Harvard. All right, so let's see what the results will be compared that to uh, uh, 900, 930 million results that we had by searching just the social sciences. All right, so now we have 214,000 results that, will, that is returned to us, which is more manageable, right? All right, but we can further refine this search to a more manageable result. Right. All right. So let's add, say, uh, we want the file type to be uh, PDF. So out of 214,000 results, let's see what we're going to get. So now we have 41,700 results that, that is returned to us, right? Which is more manageable. OK. But we can further refine this search by saying, OK, uh, we want the social sciences we let's be specific right social sciences is a bit broad right what what are we looking at in social sciences so we might say in title in title we want something like um injustice right all right so we all we see we only have what one result that was returned to us in pdf we have one Reminders of uh, reminders of past injustice against you know that's the title of the document that we're looking for. If we read through this and it's going to serve our purpose, you see we actually narrow down our search and pinpoint it to exactly what we're looking for. All right, cool. Now let's say we're looking for uh, some article on a on a URL that contains uh, some word of interest that we're looking for. So for example, we're looking for anything in the URL that contains security, right? Or cyber security, right? How are you gonna search that? So we're gonna use in, in URL. So we do in URL, then we bring our column, and then we're gonna say cyber security. All right, so now see how, how many results is gonna be returned. So we have about 1.5 million results that, has, that was returned to us. But then again, it's still a bit lot for us to kind of go through it and see if we can find exactly what we're looking for, right? All right. So now let's modify that. You can actually you can actually use the Boolean operator. So let's say and 
you can say in URL cybersecurity and and add another Boolean operator or you know um, Google Doc. So we say and site umgc.edu. So now we're going to be looking at results in uh, anything that contains cybersecurity in the URL, but we just want to do it on only in this specific site, the University of Maryland Global Campus.edu, right? That's exactly where we want to search it. We don't want to search it in any other site and see the results we're getting. We're getting what 259 results. So now you see. This is, this is what more manageable. This is more manageable. We can actually manage this better and do our research, right? Especially when you know that the title or the URL you're looking for is actually a URL that is in a specific site. You can actually use the Boolean operators and, and then you add the next um, Google derivative or advanced operators and then combine your search. And that's going to return you a more manageable result like 259, right? All right, cool. All right, so now let's look at uh, one of my favorite Google Doc or Google Advanced Operator is actually called the Index of. This can help you pretty much search for everything on the internet as long as it is on the Google server. For example, it can help you to search for music, you know, books, videos, and any other thing you want to search on the free internet or on the free web. All right, let's see how that works. So it's going to be index of, say you are a big fan of what, reggae music. So you say reggae songs, and then you enter. So right there, you see we have some indexes of what, reggae music. Click on this. And then you can see some of the free, you know, reggae music online. All right, let's go. Let's check on uh, one love and see. Right there, you see. All right, cool. So now let's go back. Um, see, we have what about six thousand, uh, six million results that was, you know, returned to us, right? Say, you know, this is uh, uh this is too broad, and then you want to narrow it down. You can actually add another. So if this is too big uh, of a search for you and then you want to narrow it down because see what we have in, we have in about 6 million results that was returned to us, right? Even though we can actually search through and see if we can find the music that we want. But you can narrow it down by saying in title, say in title, you want a specific artist, say Bob Marley. All right, so now we actually narrowed the 6 million down to uh, 2,710 results, right? So this is more manageable. You can actually skim through this and see if you can find something of interest that you want to, you know, uh, listen to, right? All right, so this is how you search for that. And then you can also, if you're a big music, uh, I mean, big video, you know, you want some movies, you know, you can do index movies. This is going to show you a bunch of movies on the, in, on the free web. We have what uh, about one billion results that is, uh, that is returned to us. That's going to be a lot for us to fish through. But if you have a specific title of a movie that you want, you can actually say in title, and then you know, let's say free movies. All right, free movies. There you go. So now we have what a more manageable results that we can actually skim through and see if we can get any of our free movie that we want. And then let's say you're a big fan of what books, you want a lot of books, you know, you can do index of books. Then you have what, about 3 billion results. You know, that's a lot. But if you have a specific book of interest, you can add in title, say um, cyber. Yeah, say so let's just do, let's just do cyber security real quick. All right, so entitled cybersecurity, we narrow it down to about what 1,860 results, right? And then we can further narrow it down here by saying we want it to be in what the file type should be in PDF. So let's see. So now we have 334 results that is being you know returned to us, which is more manageable. And then we can actually look through this and see if we have any book of interest that is available on the free web for us to download. All right, so 
Today's video is pretty short, but before I end it, I want to introduce you to uh, another one uh, called Google Scholar, right? There you go. So if you're in school or you're doing some research and you want a, an article to support your research activity or research work, you really want to go and look for some articles or books that have been what peer reviewed by an accredit, accredited uh, institution or universities because you don't want to be using any article online you don't know the uh, the re, you know the reliability of this information the person is sharing online because the, the online can contain a lot of information that are not vetted and are not peer reviewed right but if you want to get an article that is peer reviewed by an accredited institution you can always you know, instead of using the regular Google, you can use the Google Scholar. And then the Google Scholar here, you can actually look for whatever, you know, books or articles you're looking for. Say we're looking for something in social sciences. All right? See, most of these things are, most of these links are gonna link, uh, lead you to some accreditable, you know, institution, you know, like CA. we have, uh, uh we have this scholar that ed uh, that org you know most of these pretty much are going to lead you towards some peer review articles you can use in your research work not the regular google all right so that's it for to uh, for today if you do like the video please do give us a like uh thumbs up subscribe for more videos like this all right see you next time peace out